What is up, y'all? Hope y'all having a wonderful day. We are here at the Edinburgh course at Wentworth. This is a special place. I've been looking forward to this round of golf for some time now. Here on the backdrop of the first tee is a stone place kind of commemorating the opening of the Edinburgh course in 1990 with His Royal Highness, the Duke of Edinburgh. So that's kind of cool. And this golf course is gonna test our game. 75 rating, a little over 7,000 yards. So this course has some teeth. Let's just jump straight into it. Number one, par four. Thank you. That should run a bit. So this is kind of snazzy. Got a little electric push carts. Absolutely love to see it. Couldn't have asked for a better tee shot right there. I've got 159 left, so probably gonna go with the full nine. How firm are the greens? Today, my guess is probably not super firm. Okay. Uh, a little, little softer. Yep. So that being said, greens are a little firmer than what I've been playing lately. So we're actually gonna kind of three quarter this, try to land it a little short of the flag. Thank you. All right, a little thumbs up right there. If you had hit it, if you had hit it. All right, we're in with the four on one. All right, we've got 105 here and kind of want to throw it a little past the flag because Sam said that it spins quite a bit if you clip it clean. So I'm gonna go with a little sand wedge. Don't do it. If I had hit both of those last two putts, both of them were in. We're gonna get this putter dialed, don't y'all worry. Have to say, I still thought that one was in. <laughs> the thing just curled at the last second. Good little par five here. Then slightly to the right, there's a kind of really big tree, the tallest tree there on the left. We wanna keep it to the right of that, almost at that like kind of ball looking tree on the edge of the cut line. So hopefully, uh, you know, hit a good one here. But either way, we're teeing it high, letting it fly. Go. Thank you. All right, should be pretty good right there. All right, even though we're in the rough, we are in primo shape here. That ball was roasted on. Got 139 left. And we're gonna go with the gap wedge. And Sam was telling me to uh, keep it kind of right of the flag, which typically, you know, our miss is right. So let's just go straight at it. And we go left. Oh, we've kind of not followed Sam's lead. He is uh, trying to guide us around, but we're up there putting, we've got an eagle look. So even though we did pull it left of the flag where Sam told us not to hit it, we do have about a 12 footer or so roughly for Eagle here. So this one's probably breaking a good foot and a half, maybe two feet. Oh, I just hit it too hard on that line. Maybe I didn't, that wasn't as quick as I thought. But we'll tap in for the first pin slammer here at the Edinburgh course and uh, you absolutely love to see it. Number four here, par four, 385. So we do want to just keep it right of that big tree there. And uh, I don't know, maybe a little mini sting piece here. Thank you. That one is trundling right on down the fairway. Hey guys, I'm uh, Sam. Zach's already been talking about me. I've been giving him some dodgy advice. Um, so you've actually got here down the uh, fourth hole of the Edinburgh, one of the oldest trees on the property. And uh, there's actually environmental laws that stop us from being able to get rid of it. And it's also uh, a, nice, uh, a nice feature to have on the golf course, something that you've got to avoid. But there you go, there's one fun fact. All right, I've got 133 here playing down probably 13 or 14 yards and Sam said landing it short of the green it should hop up there so I'm gonna just hit 
a smooth little sand wedge here, trying to play it like upper. Oh boy, trundled down this slope just a little bit. Got a little bit of green to work with. Probably going a little to the right, so hopefully laying at a foot or two left of the flag. I like it a lot. That just laying it so hard. That's two putts now. That <laughs> Actually three, if we would have hit it. We've got the line though, we've got the line. And that was a nice little pin slammer right there from Sam. All right, so on the first tee, I did say we were playing the white tees, the back tees, but I joined my group and playing one tee up and it's about 400 yards closer. So we're playing at around 6,600. Number five here, par three, really good par three, 150. So this is a really cool backdrop right here. And it's way up the hill, probably playing maybe low 160s. And I was told don't be short. So that's kind of maxing out the nine iron. So I'm gonna go with a smooth little eight iron. Thank you. That should be a perfect number. <laughs> that may have scared the hole right there. All righty, so we've got a look here. A little, little pass, but you know, made a good swing. Let's see if we can't get a bounce back tweeter here. And that's another one if we had hit, we've literally hit our line every time. Just gotta hit the putts. We, in theory, right now, could be five under par and we're even par. This back box right here is just a super sick vibe. These trees are wild, especially this one right here. And you got some massive, are those evergreen pine trees? All righty, so this hole from the tees we're playing is 421, but I'm actually going with a six iron here. Hit it like 200, 205, because it's a big dog leg left. And even if you try to cut the corner, there is a hazard down there. So it's kind of mid iron, mid iron, and uh, just kind of keep it in the middle of those bunkers there. So I said the middle, actually like left edge of the bunkers. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be pretty good right there. All righty, I've got 179 and plays a little downhill. And I saw Sam's ball really, really trundle, but he was coming out of the rough, so a little less spin. Also off camera, Bill said, this hole gives him Pinehurst vibes. And I actually couldn't agree more. This is a really cool golf hole. Got eight iron in hand, gonna try to land it a little short. And that's why I don't try to hit full shots with the irons. I've been coming out of them big time lately. All righty, so I hit this tree up here, kicked it down, and it is definitely a 60 degree. Loft on this shot is our friend. Thank you. Well played right there, about, I don't know, three, four feet left. All right, this would be a big par save right here, but before I hit this putt, I wanted to talk about the tees out here at Wentworth. Honestly, might be some of my favorite tees. And uh, let's show everyone how beautiful these, these are wooden tees. And I know it seems simple, but a lot of tees, this part right here is so thin, it breaks every swing. And I've yet to break one of these. So let's roll this in for par. All right, we are in. That one almost didn't break for me right there, but there at the last, tailed in, even par. All righty, we got a really good par five here, and apparently it's not necessarily driver, but you know, we didn't come here to lay up. Flying all the way across the pond, that's no fun. So we're gonna let it fly and try to hit like a 15 yard cut, kind of just around that corner there. And we hit it dead straight. Hit the tree and kick down. It did drop straight down. I don't know about the lie though. I'm not sure where that 15 yard cut was. That was as straight as uh, basically you can hit it right there. So we got very fortunate right here. 
to have a pretty decent lie and just miss this little bitty creek here. And we were talking off camera about what shot I need to hit in here. I've got roughly two, probably 30, 35 to the hole. And I need to hit a low cut here. And Sam basically said, um, you didn't come here to lay up. And so he kind of put me on the spot. So we're gonna hit four iron and try to knock it up there on the green. No, that was hit so good. I did push it a little bit. All righty, my ball is like suspended about three inches above the ground in this bush here. And I'm about maybe 50 yards. I do have a backstop, so let's see if we can kind of throw it a little long and hopefully it comes back. That was, I had to hit that so hard. I felt like I hit it hard and it came out with like nothing. No, that was way too hard of a swing. That was actually a really good par. That was a really good par. All right, we're on to hole number eight. I am level par on the day, 425 par four. Not driver, cause the fairway does end up there. And I think we're just going four iron kind of straight away. Come out. We've got a long ways home right there. You ever get to the top of your swing and you're like, what are we trying to do here? Unfortunately, that's what uh, happened right there. That was not a swing thought you want. All right, so we're in play. That's about all you can say with this ball because I've got like 270 to the hole and I've got to carry this at least 230. I've got three iron. This does look to be a perfect setup for a stinger. However, I've got to carry it like a little over 230. So not the play. I can't tell if it trundled up there, but it's up there maybe just short of the green. <laughs> all righty, from where I was, like 275 or something out, we will take this all day long because there's not a ton of room up here. So good spot to be chipping up the hill and uh, let's see if we can salvage another par here. So if I was back home, that ball was hold and that I couldn't have clipped that any nippier. Yeah. Wow. I hit that how I wanted to, but it's a little long. Not a confident stroke right there. <laughs> Unfortunately, that's a bogey. All right, number nine, we are currently one over 317, but not really drivable. Here's what we're looking at. I think we're going five iron just at that right fairway bunker. Thank you. So we ended up actually going with a six iron there. After Sam hit, he said, didn't really need five. So that was a smooth little six. So we got a bit of an unfortunate break right here. We are in a divot and I've got 106 up the hill. I've got a big tree in front of me. I probably could get it over it, but the problem is I got to swing so hard. I don't know about contact. So we're going to hit a little draw in there. Hopefully land short of the green and then trundle up. Thank you. That was kind of how we had to play it. We're up there putting. All right, we're about, I don't even know, 60 feet here, 55 feet. Lengthy one up the hill, not a whole lot in it. That actually went right a lot. That may have been the most shocking putt I've ever hit. I thought that was going left and that thing went three and a half feet right. Yes. All right, we're in with the four. I've got one comment real quick. I'm gonna grab this flag and I wanna show y'all on camera this flag. It's like mesh. Apparently that's a thing that they do here and uh, kind of cool. Never seen a mesh flag before. 
I guess it's a Heathland golf thing, something like that. All righty, this is Sam's favorite hole out here and kind of a bend to the left par five. Gonna try to take it over the corner with a little cut and uh, just let it fly. Let's get a bird. Easy. It's definitely cutting. There's no comment so far, so it's, I don't know, we'll see. <laughs> Touch and go. Touch and go is what we're hearing. All righty, a bit unfortunate right there. I hit it into these weeds here and we looked for a minute, couldn't find it, but to keep pace, we gotta just move on. So I'm gonna play it like a hazard, take a drop, and we've got 240 left, I'm going with a four iron. That's super unfortunate because I carry that four iron a million miles and almost hit the pin, but it is a little long. We'll see. All right, we are just long here. Actually not too bad. So with taking the penalty drop, we could still chip this in for a four. Good. It's fair. Not too bad. Yeah. Good save. So one over through 10. All right, 421 par four. And Sam said this is the Amen corner here at the Edinburgh course. The next few holes just kind of hold on apparently. So we're going with the four iron. Tried to play a cut around that tree, and I just left that face open. Mm. We need to start finding fairways in a hurry, otherwise, whew, this is gonna be a tough round. So there's position A, B, C, D, E, and F plus, because I did find my ball. You don't wanna be here. <laughs> I'm just laying this one up. Thank you. So even though that was a layup with a wedge, I still had to be pretty precise. This is a tough hole. All right, so we're gonna play this hole, four iron, sand wedge, sand wedge. 117, and the screen is kind of firm up there, so I think we're just gonna smooth it up there. Thank you. All right, we tried to hit it with some height so it didn't bounce as much, but we got a putt at par. Well, this would be a monstrous par save right here. I just got that too far out there. Unfortunately, we're gonna make another bogey, but how I played that hole, that was kind of inevitable. All righty, good little par three here. We're at two over now. So need to make some birdies, get it back to level par on the day. We've got 145. I'm gonna go with a kind of a fuller pitch and wedge. All right, a little left of the flag, but should play well. Kind of hammered that one. Yeah, Thank you. Uh, just kind of hit it right through the break. All right, we got a good par four here. Bends around the corner to the left. Not a driver. 404. We're just going with four iron. Thank you. Thanks. So I did hit that with a little more height than you probably thought I was going to. I was just afraid of hitting a stinger going through. That was quality swing right there. All right, a good shape right here. I've got 153. And with how firm the ball's landing on these greens, I think I'm gonna go with a pitch and wedge here. Oh, fade for me. That was a little bit of a pull. That came out not at all like I thought. Wow. Mm. Good effort. 
Ooh, thank you. All right, that is a bogey there, moves us to three over, but I feel like we're gonna finish strong here. Really good par four here, number 14, 379, very tight up there, so we're just going with a five iron. Thank you. Hop right or left. All right, good shape right here. I've got 154 and we're just gonna hoist a pitching wedge here. Try to get it all the way there. Oh no, I guess I need to hit the nine iron. All right, so Sam just showed me how he would play this shot and I'm gonna attempt it. All right, well, not the back nine we were hoping for so far, but you know what? I am having such a good time. This place is so pure. And again, wanna thank Wentworth so much for having me out. This hole is so pure. Sam said it's his top three holes here on property of all the courses, that is so pure. All right, 366 yard par four, and made the comment about that tee earlier on in the round. I am still playing with the same tee, so. Nothing like a Range Rover driving right in front of you after you hit a nuke tee shot. So that was fun. That was the drive we were looking for. After making some bogeys, may have had a little something extra in that one. Let's see if we can get this up and down for a bounce back bird. I didn't quite nip it as good as I wanted to. A little long, but we got a putt. I thought that was gonna be crazy fast. I was in the heart and uh, unfortunate par there with a really good drive. All right, we got a par five here, 16. We are currently four over par. Not where we wanted to be, that's for sure. But right here, let's see if we can bounce back, get some birds on the board. That was just pulled right out of the gate. Oof, not a good swing. That may not have been the best drive, but I was just looking in the camera right there and this lighting is so money. All right, we are gonna have to lay up here. Thank you. Out of that lie, we'll take that all day long. All righty, I've got 140 playing down three. So I'm gonna go with the gap wedge. Sam said landed a bit short because it could get a big hop. That's got to get down. All right. Yeah, a little left, but we're putting. Beautiful short little par three here. Got 112. I think I'm gonna go with a smooth little sand wedge. So if you can see on camera up there, there is a ball sitting nice and tight. That was Bill's shot right before me. And it actually caught part of the hole. It landed just right, hopped on the back corner and like caught part of the lip. What a shot. It's back on a back shelf right there. Bill hit a phenomenal shot to get back there. All righty, we got about 35 feet here up the hill. It is gonna be very slow going up that slope there. Pace wasn't too bad right there. Thank you, good two putt there. Final hole here, let's finish strong. It'll make dinner taste that much better. I've got four iron here. This hole is like 440, but the right kind of sneaks in on you. So four irons to play. 
Well, if you hit it down the left, the right doesn't sneak in on you. Yeah, that's why we hit four iron. <laughs> Alrighty, we got 204 here, and I think it's gonna come out pretty hot out of this lie. I think I'm gonna just go with a seven iron. Hopefully land short and then trundle up on the green. Thank you. All right, I think we got on the front edge. All right, let's roll one in to end it. And before we do, I'm gonna show you some clips around the clubhouse. This clubhouse is spectacular. All right, now let's roll in the putt. Oh, oh, I thought we did it here on the last. That would have been a fun way to end it. However, that is four over and had so much fun here. And that is it here, Bill. That was an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Enjoyed Great it. Great fun. Great fun. Enjoyed it. Thank pleasure. you, Sam. Great Appreciate fun. it. Really enjoyed that. That yeah. was awesome. Job, well, that is it here at Wentworth. That was an absolute pleasure. As for me, England, we'll see you at Walton Heath tomorrow. Peace.